Vision OS 26 is finally available to everyone. Welcome back to a vision experiment with me, Ty, talking everything Apple Vision Pro, spatial computing, and more. And we finally have the full public release of Vision OS 26 with some incredible features for you guys to try out. If you haven't been involved in any of the developer betas from recent times, you won't know really some of the top, top features that you can access. So let's just go through some of the big ones for you to try once you've upgraded your Apple Vision Pro. You now have the ability to have spatial widgets. These are persistently able to be placed in your environment where you'll be able to have quick glances at things such as weather, calendar, photos, and more. And you can even have them reappear once you've turned off and turned on your Apple Vision Pro. We've now got improvements to personas where they look far more realistic than they did before when they were in beta. You guys will see a massive upgrade in how your persona is. You'll have to do a new one, but it will be definitely worth upgrading. You've now got the ability to have spatial scenes in photos. It's definitely something that improves the spatial photo experience. When you do an upgrade and you turn something spatialized as a photo in Vision OS 26, you get a huge new degree of parallax to these images. It looks fantastic. It's definitely worth trying out. PlayStation VR2 Sense controllers have now got full compatibility with Vision OS. Something that's a little bit of a difficult one, unless you own a PlayStation VR2, you can't quite currently buy the PlayStation controllers for it individually. But if you do have one, you'll be in luck because they should be able to work straight away. Hand track has now been upgraded to 90 Hertz, which gives you greater accuracy and is a welcome improvement. There are more abilities to do shared experience with share play. You'll be able to do more collaboration. And we've seen more recently that Apple have been pushing this for enterprise use, but it's there for everyone to try. There's now more support for immersive media, both with 180 degree and 360 degree media natively on Apple Vision Pro. We've got look to scroll, which allows you to literally look to the bottom of a page. Let's say it's a website in Safari and you'll be able to scroll with just your eyes. It feels a little bit like wizardry. You can now unlock your iPhone. This is one of the biggest requested things needed in the next update to Vision OS. I think so many people were like, why can't we unlock our phone with the optical ID that's connected to Vision Pro. And now you can, and it will even cut your phone out in an immersive experience. And the biggest one that most people are really excited for, sounds really simple, but a brand new environment in the Jupiter environment. It's a really cool one to try out. We got a taster of it in the last release and it is stunning. Go and check out my last video to see how you can interact with it. There is also a couple of other things you can do like speed up or slow down time. It's really good to try when you first upgrade. And that is it for the quick guide to some of the newest features in Vision OS 26. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We've got plenty more coming in the near future. And I'll catch you for another video really soon.